You are now listening to the Gospel of Alex. Alex, drop those scriptures. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Alex. Shout out to the Elite Fleet. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can become a member of the Elite Fleet. And we got to talk about this because the emasculation of the modern man is real. As y'all can see here, we got a Hispanic poppy. We got Poppy Chulo here with his daughter. Okay, they're going to see the Barbie movie. Now, some dudes, especially white dudes, white dudes are sick about this Barbie movie, which is funny because they should know better than anyone. They're mad as hell. Oh, see all this Barbie movie's making so much money. Da, 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 da. A lot of you dudes, I've said this before, and I'll say this again. Y'all talk about female nature all goddamn day, but y'all don't really understand female nature at all because you don't have any female friends, and you're not close with your female relatives, and it shows. Because if you were, you would expect Barbie to put up the numbers Barbie's putting up because you would realize Barbie is basically Superman, Batman, Spider-Man combined to women. That was the toy. <laughs> like, whatever toy were they playing with? Yeah, you have brat styles in there, but those are more for a little bit. To get... Listen, no offense to the brat styles girls, but those are for a little girls who are kind of more rebellious, a little bit more emo, stuff like that. Generally, all they really had was Barbies. Yeah, again, you had brats, but that's it. We had a bunch of options of stuff to do. We had Transformers, 1001 superheroes. They didn't have a lot of stuff to do. Plus, Barbie, Ben. Mixed race. There have been Indian Barbies, Asian Barbies, Black Barbies, Hispanic Barbies. That's been happening. We just now getting to a point where we starting to get superheroes of other races. They used to all be white men. Now we're getting the Miles Moraleses. Now they're putting the Blue Beetle on screen and stuff like that. But they didn't used to do that. Now they're putting Shang Chi on screen. But they didn't used to do that. So Barbie's been multicultural and the number one girl's toy for a long ass time. Going all the way back to like your grandparents' days. So why y'all surprised it's putting up the numbers it is? I don't know. But y'all white men need to shut the hell up because I'm tired of y'all crying about it. But that's not what we're talking about today. What we're talking about today is the emasculation of modern men. Because as you can see, the question asked on this is, as a father, do y'all think he's doing too much? Yes, he absolutely is. And make sure you stay to the end because this isn't even the most egregious part. For you to see the most egregious part of this situation, you have to stay to the end. So the best gems comes to those who stay to the end. Yes, he's doing way too much. My man is in a leotard right now. I need you guys to understand that. My man's in a leotard right now. This leotard probably going up his ass. <laughs> Like, legit, it's probably a thong. It might not be, but it probably is. He went this far. I can't put that past him. My man's standing here looking like Kirby. My man's standing here looking like Clefairy. My man's standing here looking like Clefable. My man's standing here looking like Jigglypuff. Anything pink and soft and cuddly and cute and puffy. My man looked like Majin Buu before Majin Buu got to the savage form. And we acted like this is a good thing. Now, if you read the comments, of course, the women are going to give him brownie points. I need you guys to understand. Modern women will always give you brownie points for emasculating yourself. So, of course, the women are in the comments. They're all in the comments like, oh, you know, it doesn't matter what y'all think as long as his daughter likes it. As long as his daughter was happy, that's all that matters. You guys have fragile masculinity and blah, 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 blah. They talking all that crap knowing damn well they would roast their man if he came out the house like this. Half the comments are like that. The other half are roasting this man. Those are the women that are being honest. Don't let the women set you up for the okie doke. Listen, this done went viral. In one day, this has 7.8 thousand shares, 2.8 thousand likes, and 2.2 thousand comments. So clearly there's a problem here. Do not let women convince you otherwise. Let me tell you guys something. This whole your daughter will love you is nonsense. Listen, my granddad is my mom's hero. My granddad is really the family's hero. All, right? all my aunts love my granddad. All right? My sisters loved my granddad. My cousins loved my granddad. His great-great-grandkids loved him. My granddad wouldn't be caught dead in no damn dress. And no damn tutu. This man got a tutu on. Like he's a tooth fairy. Like he a ballerina in some cowboy boots. I'm not even going to call him zesty. Because that would be disrespectful to gay men. Because gay men got more style than this. They wouldn't come out the house looking like this. This dude look crazy. <laughs> he look crazy. But anyways, we would never catch my granddad dead in a dress. I need y'all to understand this. Never, it would never happen. And all the women in the family loved, respected, and adored my grandfather. And you would never catch him dead in a dress. You do not have to wear a dress for the young girls, for your daughter, for your cousins, for your nieces to have respect for you as a man. This is BS. It's a BS narrative that they're pushing. Listen, when my dad, granddad passed away, I became the most masculine man in my family. 
right? All my cousins love me. All my little cousins love me. All my nieces love me. My sisters love me. My mom is like my best friend. All the females in my family absolutely love me, absolutely adore me. And if you've been on this channel for a while, you know I have plenty of female friends, straight up platonic friends. And clearly I have no problem getting women if you've been on this channel for a while either. I ain't never wearing no goddamn dress. And I damn sure ain't wearing no pink leotard. So the narrative that, oh, it doesn't matter. If I have masculinity, as long as you're close to your daughter, da 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 it's bull. It's bull. You don't have to do that. You're still a man. Your daughter can love you. Your nieces can love you. Your little cousins can love you. Your sister, your mama, whatever you want to call it. It's a what you might call it. Can love you with you still being a masculine man. And you know what's funny when they use that stupid ass narrative? As long as the daughter is happy, it's getting them closer to his daughter. It doesn't matter. You guys have friends on masculinity. Okay. All right. How many single mothers do we know? How many of them do you see rolling around in the dirt teaching their son how to tackle because he wants to be a football player? I'll wait. Let that breed run it back. How many single mothers do we know? Now, how many of those single mothers do you see rolling around on the dirt teaching their son how to tackle because he wants to be a football player? If you answer, I ain't never seen that, that's because you don't happen. That's not to say that there's none, but it ain't enough for you to ever see it. And it ain't going viral. Because she's not doing it. How many times do you see single mothers rounding the bases with their son because he wants to be a baseball player? You don't. I, I, do you see women walking around here sagging with their ass hanging out their jeans because they want to get closer to their sons? No. You don't. Did you, you don't see these things because they understand I can still be a woman and my son's mom, and he can still love me. You don't have to emasculate yourself to get in close with your daughter. And those sons still love their mother. Sons wouldn't even ask their mother. A son would never ask his mother, especially if she's not into that, to dress up as Batman to take him to see Batman. Just take me to see Batman. You don't got to be Batman. I ain't never asked my mom, hey, mom, come throw some footballs to me. For what? She's a girl. And my mom's a girly girl, and I happen to like that about her. So no, I'm not going to ask her to throw me footballs. But guys, none of that is even the most egregious stuff. This is the most egregious part of this entire fucking, ah, of this entire damn video. Somebody timestamp this for me. This is by far the most egregious part of the entire video because if you were arguing with me, if you typed a comment before you finished the video, I'm going to cook you, by the way. But if you were about to argue with me, how do you explain this? Oh, Alex, you taking it too far. You going too hard. It's not that serious. He was just having a sweet moment with his daughter. So then why the hell is the girl's mom in a T-shirt and he's in a leotard? Why couldn't she wear the leotard and he wear the T-shirt? Why is the girl's mom in shorts when he has on a tutu? How is it that your woman is going with you to take your daughter to see the Barbie movie and she looked like more of a man than you do? Even with the bag on her shoulder. That is a problem. I was, I was pissed off when I seen this. You know what I thought when I seen this? I said, it has to be one of three things. Number one, this woman does not love this man. Because I'm going to let you know right now, no woman I ever dated would let me walk out the house like that and then she walking out the house like this. She would, they wouldn't let it happen. They literally wouldn't let it happen. My sister would clown me. My mother would clown me. My nieces would clown me. All my exes would clown me. Any woman I'm talking to right now to, that I'm betting for marriage would clown me for walking out of the house like that. And I wouldn't even blame him. She let him walk out the house like that. If this woman loved this man, you know what she would have did? She would have said, hey, listen, baby, I know you want your dad to dress up this way, but I'll do it. How about your dad just wear this shirt and he wears some shorts? I'll, I'll wear the leotard and the tutu. This is BS. Most likely, she probably told that little girl to ask her dad to wear this outfit because she knew that he'd do it for her. And she don't like his ass for whatever reason. So she's like, you know what you should do? You should ask daddy to wear a tutu and a pink leotard. And the little girl's just like, okay. That's probably what happened, right? Or number two. All right, the little girl might have actually on her own came up with the idea to ask the dad to wear the leotard and the tutu. Now, let me under get you guys to understand something about women. All right? This little girl looks like she's probably anywhere from maybe six to like nine, somewhere in there. All right. Let me tell y'all something about women. 
And it starts young. Trust me. If you don't have any little nieces, if you don't have any daughters, you might not understand what I'm talking about. If you don't have any little cousins, you might not understand what I'm talking about. But it starts young. Women are the biggest trolls on the planet. On the planet. All right? I need you guys to understand that. So I even, even though there's a possibility the daughter might say, okay, dad, can you wear this leotard and this tutu? She probably did it just seeing as a joke. She probably didn't expect him to actually wear it. The fact that he actually wore it is probably hilarious to her now. People in the comments talking about some, when the daughter looks back at this, all she's going to remember is that her dad took her to the movies and dressed up because he wanted to get closer to her. B.S. Listen, this is a little Hispanic girl. I know little Hispanic girls. She's going to roast her dad when she look back at this picture. Just like, just like I told y'all, the women I've dated and the women in my family would roast me. This little Hispanic girl is going to roast her dad when she look back at this picture. She's like, damn, dad, what the hell was you thinking? Cowboy boots, a tutu, and a leotard? <laughs> like, what was you thinking, dad? I here looking like a strawberry Pop-Tart. Like, what are you doing? She's going to roast them. As she should, because he should have been dumb enough to do this. And you know what? When he says to her, but baby, you're the one who asked me to wear this. But baby, you're the one who asked me to wear this. You know what she's going to say? She's going to say, I'm a child. Why would you listen to me? And she's going to be right. And she's going to be right. Why would you listen to her? She's a child. Or the third option is, this dude really is zesty, and he's been waiting for his moment, his one shiny moment, to dress like this all along, and it has nothing to do with the wife or the daughter. And he just wanted to do this. He's a Barbie girl in the Barbie world. Oh, my God. Guys, we got to fight back. This is getting ridiculous at this point, man. We have to fight back. In no world is a woman expected to go to her son's football practice with shoulder pads, a helmet, and some damn pants on and some cleats. No one's expecting that. So why would you be expecting your father to come to a Barbie movie with a tutu and a leotard on? That's insane. And then we cap it off with this, man. Look at my man up here ordering food. Ordering food with his daughter. Now, I want you guys to understand. My man at the register is probably thinking everything that I've just said in this video. My man at the register don't even want to make eye contact with this dude. Look, dude looking directly at him. Dude at the register looking down. He don't want to look at him because he feel ashamed. His nuts get smaller from looking at this man and realizing how much his nuts have been taken away. You lose testosterone looking at this dude. <laughs> I mean, you don't even got to ask who wear the pants in the family. Just go back to this photo. You see who wear the pants in the family. Only one person got pants on and it ain't him. Only one person got tattoos, and it ain't him. Her feet look like they might even be bigger than his. Look at that. She like she kick him right in the ass. Give him with the sweet chin music. Pow! Knock his ass off. But look at this. My man don't even want to look at him. He don't even want to make eye contact. He like, I'm going to just put your order in, man, hand you your stuff. Because if I look at you, I'm going to lose testosterone. If I look at you, my ball is going to shrink. And if I look at you, I'm probably going to laugh. And if I start laughing, your daughter going to start laughing. And if we and your daughter start laughing, everybody going to start laughing. So you know what? I'm going to just type in your order and go ahead and charge you $150 for this popcorn, these two drinks, and these Sour Patch Kids. My man don't even want to make eye contact, bruh. Come on now. Listen, I need you guys to understand. All right, we had some fun with this video, right? But I do need you guys to understand, this is an agenda. This is an agenda at the end of the day. It's no reason, there's no reason, there has never been a time in society outside of now where a man was expected to forego his masculinity just to become closer to the female sex. We were created as partners. It doesn't matter what religion you follow, right? It doesn't matter if you're Christian, Catholic, Jewish, Islamic. Right? It doesn't matter if you are spiritual, Far East spiritual, all right? Tibetan, Buddhist, doesn't make a difference. It doesn't matter. All the books, all the ancient teachings for thousands of years tell you men and women were created to balance each other out. Not to be the same, but to balance each other out, to complement each other, to make up for what the other one lacks. At no point was it ever told to you that you're supposed to give up your nuts to get closer to your daughter. You're your daughter's first love, all right? Oedipus Rex. I know y'all like to make it nasty, but the reality is it's the truth. 
Your daughter's first love is her father. Your son's first love is his mother. It's more important that you show her what a whole masculine man is that, than that you show her, okay, I like her girls, we get along better. She, she don't need you to do that. That's your daughter. She's going to love you regardless. What she needs you to do is to be the steady, shining example of what masculinity is so when she goes out and tries to find a man, she knows what one looks like. Your daughter ain't going to find no masculine man and no damn tutu. There's no point to this. None. He doesn't have to do this. And I don't want y'all listening to these idiot-ass women talk about some, oh, I'm going to get you closer to your daughter. It shouldn't matter. When they ain't never strapped up no type of athletic equipment to get closer to their sons. They ain't start reading comic books to get closer to their sons. They ain't start boxing to get closer to They didn't. And they don't have to. Again, if you're into this type of stuff, then that's different. If your mom really likes superhero stuff, so she dress up, go to movie theaters with you to watch it, that's fine. That's okay. If she happens to really be into sports and she can't throw a football, cool. But most women cannot. Most women do not. And no one tells them that they should. But most men don't want to wear a damn leotard in pink to take their daughter to the movie theaters, and we're being told that we're fra we have fragile masculinity. Because we don't want to wear a tutu. That's designed for women to a damn movie theater. It's crazy. It's straight up crazy. And that's why I had to make this, man. Because this dude looked ridiculous. I'm sorry. He looked ridiculous. And the fact, I just got to go back to this one more time before we get out of here. How did the wife get out of the house in shorts and he has on a tutu? Someone, before you argue with me, Alex, you going too hard. Alex, you got fragile masculinity. Alex, whatever. I want you to explain to me how the hell the wife got out the house with short sandals and a t-shirt on and he got on a leotard and a dress and cowboy boots. Someone explain that to me before you tell me I'm going too hard. This is an agenda. This ain't nothing but another step of emasculating modern men. This doesn't make any sense. Yes, he went too far. I'm glad half the comments is telling him that his ass went too far because he did. And I hope he sees him and changes his ways. Anyways... I'm Alex Shaw and I am out. Peace.